Hello, my creative collective. Welcome to your April 20th daily creative reading. Welcome, welcome. So let's dive in, shall we? All right. So <laughs> I would like to invite the angels, my guardian angels, my spirit guides, protectors, teachers, and their healing energy to this space. And I ask that it is a safe space and brave space that allows for the fullest expression of our light, humanity, ascension, and healing. Ooh, I got a lot of spirit bumps on this one. Well, goosebumps, really. Same diff to me. Same difference. But let's dive in, shall we? I'm using the Hero's Journey Dream Oracle deck by Kelly Sullivan Walden. Uh, artwork is by Rasuli. Love it. Okay, so where are we going here today? Creative Collective. The reward. Celebrate your magnificence. Oof beautiful energy on this card especially in light of the integration that we've been doing this week in the readings so far i'm seeing a lot of uh you know hermit energy wisdom from uh, wisdom after difficulty so there's a lot of that to be had here divine discernment step back to find clarity beautiful 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 one 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 was just on the time divine discernment and we also have there's no place like home there's no place like home nestle into the sweetness oh beautiful energy on that nestle into the sweetness snuggle up buttercup <laughs> um that's really nice nestle into the sweetness there's no place like home it's almost like you're remembering who you are and you're just reveling in that celebrate your magnificence divine discernment and then nestle into the sweetness like oh beautiful my daily creatives this is perfect energy this is absolutely gorgeous oh mm, so good let's dig in <laughs> i'm so excited this is a great way to start the day you kidding me <laughs> you cannot you cannot brew coffee that strong <laughs> okay so i mean you can try <laughs> but two 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 on the time excellent thank you so much for that sign spirit all right so this is your hero's journey for the day my daily creative so spirit can i get some messages from my daily creatives for april 20th both okay seven of cups six of swords both no back in okay four of wands page of cups the high priestess ace of cups the devil Two of Wands, the Moon. It's funny, the Libra full moon is, I think, called the Pink Moon. Um, so it could be that there's something that's a bit of a carryover from the Libra full moon that you're understanding about yourself uh, or that you've released that you're just moving through. And you're kind of like, what's next about it? Five of Pentacles. Okay, let me, I'm not going to leave it like that. Whoa. This deck's a little bit slippery. Four of Swords. Lovers. Put this one. Okay, that's fine. All right. So... I think that today you're starting the day like you're you're kind of kicking off today and this the energy of this week by moving away from things that aren't really working for you anymore right I don't think it's necessarily been easy for you um, and I think that there are many different ways that you could have done this but I think ultimately it's sort of a for the best kind of thing um, at least this is the energy that I'm reading from this that it's for the best and I think that it's not without also bringing in new things right the four of wands in this deck is um, you know depicted as like a collaboration space but this is also commitment sacred contracts that kind of thing coming in for you um, 
So I think the seven of cups and the six of swords is really you. This is almost like a conversation that you're having with your inner self, right? Your, your guidance, you're having this conversation with spirit within you. Um, and it's not something that you've really necessarily wanted to do, but you're tapping into an energy center that tells you what you must do for you, my darlings. And this, I believe here to me, it represents that sort of moon energy. Um, it's almost like the Libra full moon may have activated this need for balance. Like you're understanding that there's this need that you, you have for balance that is not just a want, it's an actual need that you have. And the page of cups is here to kind of articulate the, the offer that you're giving to others and yourself through, um, through this realization and understanding, right? Six of Swords is about moving away from things that are no longer working, but it's also um, a lot of mental energy, right? It's a lot of air energy. Um, so when we place it, when we emplace it next to things like wands and emotions, it's sort of the activation of our path forward, um, inspired by something that's really, that, that kind of gets the heart beating a little bit not so much pumping like the knight of wands but like it gets it beating in a way that's like oh be still my heart like it's just it's fluttering right it's fluttering and that's where it's like nestle into this sweetness this strikes me as that sweetness card right very tender-hearted very sweet energy very sweet energy here and then i'm seeing the high priestess here is this inner knowing that you have like you're it's sort of the switch flips and when you connect back into this sweetness, this tender hearted part of you, the high priestess allows you to see so much more that you didn't before. It allows you to see so much more. It's almost, I got the image of this like this expanse opening up in your mind, in your heart space. Like it, it's a heart space thing that kind of affects your mind as well. Like you're, you know, you're, um, celebrating your magnificence and then what ends up opening up is this whole 5d space within you that allows you to see things so much clearer like you're pulling back like it's just allowing you to pull back and see all of the bigger picture um and again the moon moon energy here um it's allowing you to pull back and see the bigger picture there's this tremendous sweetness here i can't stop thinking about this sweetness um, I think there's something sweet uh, on the, you know, on offer here, whether that's from someone or from people, um, it could just be a, a, a light energy exchange, right? Celebrating your magnificence. And I think that there's a divine discernment that comes into play because you, you made the, you did kind of the hard, not really glamorous thing of moving past this confusion that came from um, not, not necessarily the best options, right? Uh, and options not as in people, but options as in what to do next, like what steps to take next. How do we make real this process of wisdom that's been coming to us this week? And I think that as you go through, you're connecting to the sweetness and what's coming to the fore is you finally see it. You're just, you see the way and, and it um, unfolds before you. And that does come with the way that you're able to see and receive love. The Ace of Cups is about um, a specific, that's a love offer specifically. So it could be that this is really related to the offers of love that people have given you before. Um, but I also think that this could be a love offer in particular, right? This could be um, someone coming to you this week. This could be love on offer. That's beautiful. And it's a sweetness too. this tenderness, this, it, I just, this sweetness, like I'm a marshmallow. <laughs> so it's just like this idea of um, that sweetness coming to the fore is so profound. And the devil here, I think is showing up more. So this is Capricorn energy and the 10th house. I almost get the impression that this is not something, this is almost like kind of making you doubt. And, and the devil doesn't necessarily represent doubt, but just in the context of this bigger reading, I think that you might be tempted to doubt the process. You're going to be tempted to doubt the love on offer um, you're going to be tempted to question it. Um, I don't think that it's an insincere offering. The page of cups did not, I did not intuit it showing up as in the reverse, which would then be a sort of insincere. I think that this is something that's very sincere, but your, your temptation may be to doubt it. Um, but that's why it's sort of like this, this deep knowing that you have, you have a very deep knowing about this path ahead of you. You have a very deep knowing about this person who may be coming in this love that may be coming in for you. Um, but during the Libra full moon, the Libra full moon is a pink moon. And I find it interesting that the moon is pink in this iteration of the deck. Um, 
And it's almost like you, you do the releasing, you do the, you know, you go through those, um, those steps during the Libra full moon. And now you're like, okay, now I'm ready. What's next? What's next? And I get this like fire within you that you're looking out from within, right? And I think that you have, again, the Ten of Wands showed up pretty prominently in the readings this week so far. And I think that this is an invitation to continue to leave behind what isn't working. 1010 was just on the time to continue to leave behind what wasn't working. Ten of Inspiration is the Ten of Wands is very much about putting down burdens that just like you're done. It's the frustration, right? Frustration, uh, baggage, um, Baggage tends to be more stigmatizing way of looking at things that we carry with us that just don't work for us anymore. And I think that you're recognizing this too, and you're kind of bringing yourself in from the cold here. Um, interesting. Four of Swords, and I see Saturn at the bottom of this card. I see Saturn at the very bottom of this card. So more world energy that showed up yesterday pretty loudly. But this five of pentacles, I think that you're being invited into a kind of new way of being here. It sort of mirrors this two of wands. I get like there's portals that are opening up internally now because you're making choices between things like fear and love. You're making the choices that are going to propel you forward, not just in your life, but also in a way that heals you and other people in the process, you know, connecting to your inner wisdom, to your inner light, 1111 on the time. So it's you connecting back to this and speaking back to this wisdom. Uh, and again, it goes back to this choice that we make, right? Choice between love or fear. So we're making choices now based on what we actually want and our intuition, as opposed to making choices based on things like the devil, the, the, the lesser of two evils, or, you know, like that kind of thing. We're making choices now based on, the, you know, the tenderness and sweetness of them. And I think that's a reminder that there's a reward, reward here. Celebrate your magnificence. The reward isn't about tangible things, I don't think, at least right now. Um, so far in the week, I think that this is the divine discernment too, right? Celebrating the, you know, the reward of that, how that feels like that's, that looks to me so much like joy. It's like sweetness and page of cups that started a whole fire within somebody, passion, light, they're shining and they're radiating. And I feel like that's you, my daily creatives. I feel like that's you. And then this divine discernment piece he is, is here is like, you're choosing um, from a higher place, you're choosing from a more elevated place within you, not in terms of hierarchically speaking, but certainly in terms of, um, in terms of gifts, but also in terms of, again, those higher choices, you're choosing things that you want now, as opposed to things that you just want to avoid, right? That's if you're a why, if you're choosing specific things, just because you want to avoid outcomes, well, that doesn't really serve you, right? That doesn't, that means you're just going to get more of that energy in it's you, it's the 10 of wands that you you're, you need to let go of. And I think that you do, right? You do start making choices based on what you truly desire, right? Your, your heart space, your healed heart space, your healed heart chakra, this ace of cups is beautiful this tenderness is just oh i love it so i'm going to jump into some clarification here now and we'll see how else spirit decides to talk to us so this is the smith weight deck um spirit can i get some clarification on this five of pentacles four of swords lovers and ten of wands please thank you so much ace of pentacles yeah yeah this is the new stuff coming in i think that this is affirming for me that there's an end of a way of doing things so <laughs> yes the wheel came out and the end to a way of doing things because there's new right there's new stuff here um yeah re it, resist the urge to let other people's noise get in the way of your decisions this is jupiter energy right you're expanding you're stepping into your power i get you're stepping into your power and you're stepping in from out in the cold where you're just buried in work and, and the work of things, right? Because um, you've done the work already. So there comes a point where you cease to need to do work. Like you cease to need to continue to work at everything. Ooh, my ear's ringing. Ah, that was loud. Um, Ace of Wands, inspiration, right? So I think that this is inspiration coming through. Wow, that was really loud. Um that's been happening more lately. It, since I've been doing more Akashic Records work for myself um, and diving into that and then also just collectively as well, just sending energy to collective and in service to collective healing, I... Um, oh, the, the ear ringing has gotten more profound, so I apologize if I exclaim at any point. Um, 
But anyways, this Ace of Wands is almost like it reminded me of an ear ringing. <laughs> like there's inspiration that is, um, there's going to be some new opportunities that come your way in terms of uh, tangible offers of value in terms of, um, I, I, I want to say finances, but to me, pentacles represent finances. They also represent um, things like tangible well-being, security, stability, the stuff that money can't buy, right? The stuff that money can't buy. I grew up in a home where we, you know, we didn't necessarily have a ton of money and that resourcefulness made me so very aware of the things that money cannot buy that you have or you don't, right? And you can cultivate them. So that's where I, you know, some people say like financial offers are coming in. Yay. And that's, that might be the way that they read them. Um, but for me, it's about so much more. It's about things that make life meaningful and valuable um, and you know it's about needs and wants coming together and I think that this ace of wands here is like is is that um, passionate expression of these things as being important um, now this can be the way that you're expressing yourself right again this passion right it goes up to this fiery passion that page that tender-hearted offer just <laughs> lights something up in you um, that tender-hearted offer this ace of cups and the page of cups here right so we have the ace of wands here which certainly confirms the passion and inspiration piece that i was feeling um spirit can i get some clarification on the seven of cups six of swords two of wands and the moon here is this things help me understand uh in service to the daily creatives here how this is playing out the moon on the moon card yeah so this tells me that there is something to be said for that this can also represent fourth house and cancerian energy um which fourth house represents kind of familial ties that just popped out familial ties but also ancestral inheritances and what's coming to mind is epigenetics and there's a book that came to mind as well right now it's called it didn't start with you and i think um that book is excellent number one number two there's a sort of chapter at the back that talks about self-talk and the things that we wish our family had said to us in service to our healing right parents that might have said something like but couldn't because they didn't have the vocabulary right we work through we get through and we forgive what they could not be so that we can reach our own full and our, our fullest potential and give to others in ways that we were not necessarily given to right that's part of healing and compassion for others and ourselves on the journey and this um um, this book though talks about things that our parents we wish that we would have that they would have said to us right one of them is um one of them talks about you know how parents might say well you know i i'm taking up so much space right now and i'm sorry that you did not have enough right that was something i, I and it was just that like you know it's probably spilling some of my own tea but that's an example of one that I found particularly powerful um and it's not about people taking up space being a problem it's just that as a kid you start to take on you start to pick up on cues from those around you at an early age and you start to um people please from a very young age right that's sort of where you learn it is these these cues to keep you safe when you're young but in adulthood they really keep you small um, but that book did unlock a whole lot for me. So it didn't start with you is the name of the book um, by Mark Wolin, M-A-R-K-W-O-L-Y-N-N, -N, Mark Wolin. Um, but nonetheless, back to this full moon energy, I think that there's this, it could be ancestrally related that you're healing this energy from, but whatever it is, I feel like it's coming back into balance in a way that's giving you, a, it's putting you back into um, a position of being able to give from a place of feeling abundant within yourself, right? You're able to give of yourself um, because there's a healing that takes place and it makes the, the giving space more accessible because the heart space is healed. You know, the heart space is healed or healing. So I think what ends up happening is you can start to give fresh and freely from it. Spirit, can I get some clarification on this four of wands, please, and the high priestess? Five of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. I get the impression that this isn't just about overcoming a mindset, um, but it's like overcoming a way of looking at yourself, a way of seeing yourself. And it's bringing in stability, or at least it's giving you the ability to recognize stability in other situations and people. It could be bringing in a specific fire sign for you, Aries Leo Sag. 
Um, it could be, I just heard, <laughs> it could be just like the universe's token of um, impassioned appreciation. That's what I just heard. Um, Queen of Wands. I'll do this one here. Okay. Queen of Wands. I get this is more your energy though. Um, but it could be that you're going, you're going from, this is like initiate, initiated energy, right? You're going from the page of wands to the queen of wands here. And that's beautiful energy. That's like a graduation, energetically speaking. So congratulations, celebrate your magnificence, just like the card said, right? Spirit, can I get some more clarification here on this tenderhearted love offer? The three of pentacles, judgments. What else do we have? Eight of pentacles. Um... I feel like you've been waiting for a long time and I think that you need to know that your happiness is here. Like your happiness is, is arriving. Like it's, I know that in other readings that we did this week, it was a sort of a message of waiting, right? Step back to find clarity though. And then don't forget to celebrate when, when the good stuff and the good stuff, meaning your happiness really arrives when it arrives here for you. I think that that's really, really important for you to remember. And then the devil energy here, um, spirit, can I get some clarification on that? Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. This to me is you putting, it's, yeah, it's you putting these old habits to rest and really standing in your power. Yeah, oh my goodness. Okay, so it's you standing in your power here. So I got the Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, Four of Swords, which to me is like the sort of resting period that you needed. Um, you know, you didn't have a whole, you may not have felt like you had a whole lot to offer. Like I get small fish in a big pond. Um once you went through this cycle and feeling like you had lesser options, right? The lesser of two evils, the, if all the options suck, like it just, it makes you, it kind of, you're, pu you're moving past that way of looking at things. Um, and it made you feel like you didn't really have that much to offer, but with more rest and healing, what it ended up doing is really bringing out your inner emperor and hermit. So like, you don't just boss up, you like boss up, like you do it in a way that is, um, external facing so your circumstances change because who you are has changed this hermit is featuring so prominently this week and i'm not gonna lie i love it i love it for you my daily creatives it's when creative energy starts to flow and we get into this wise place we tap into our inner wisdom the the things that we put into the world change right that ace of pentacles and ace of wands the things that we create change and it's such a beautiful thing to see. It's where, you know, I think about, for example, what's coming to mind. I don't read his books necessarily. I read the on writing one, but Stephen King, you could see that the, the break in his writing between when he was really like into, um, you know, when he was doing hard, hard drugs and you can see the shift in his consciousness in his books and what he started to put out and where he kind of diverged from his own path. And that was, you know, who he was changed, who he was changed. He went more into his hermit energy and he, his work improved uh, to an extent, like it changed. It didn't, it wasn't that it was bad before. But it's just it you could see it shift in a way that secured the long haul for his work and creative offerings. I pray before I pay. So this is a really good um, for me. This this says, uh, you know, the investment piece right before you invest in something, uh, you know, financially or emotionally or otherwise. Um, it's really important to just take a second and to, you know, do a check in with spirit. Like, is this not just is this OK for me, but is this something that um is in service to others? Is this going to help people? Is this going to help me? Is this going to help me be a clearer offering and channel? I mean, for me, that's something I ask myself, like, is this going to clog the channels or is this going to open them up? Right? So the next message is to truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I feel like tearing up right now. <laughs> that's actually really beautiful to truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. Hermit energy, right? Hermit energy. Ooh, major goosebumps on that one. Nestle into the sweetness. Remember, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Let love pour through you. Wow, that's beautiful. Spirit, can I get some messages for April 20th just to cap this off? This is the um, Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection deck by Mike Dooley. 
There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. Okay. I mean, I think about this as more so like we're all one as much as we might think that we're different. That one. Okay. We might think that there we're different. Uh, there's a oneness to it, right? The only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. So to me, that says that that sort of decisions, it's a choice, right? We're choosing again with this choice theme. We're choosing to see love or fear. We're choosing to see people as they are or as we are, as they are or as we want them to be, as they are or as we hope that they might be, right? So it's very clear vision. Things are not as they appear. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze, the universe. To me, this is really about... Um, the lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Things are not as they appear. I think it's like this idea that what we give to, this is really to me about giving that financial piece. But also, um, I think this stuff, again, the stuff that money can't buy, right? Like, it's the stuff you learn when you're out in the cold. It's the stuff that you learn when you're in those places. That's the stuff that no money can purchase. No stuff can bring you that kind of fulfillment and meaning. And you reach for it constantly, right? Um, but I think things are not as they appear is this idea of how we value things um, is shifting, I think, in a very big way. And I think the pandemic had something to do with it. But I think that it was happening beforehand, nonetheless. I just think this way that we assess and assign value is shifting. So don't be deceived if things, you know, you look at something and you're like, oh, that's that seems really valuable. Um, and other people talk about it as valuable. Do a check in with yourself first, right? Pay before you uh, pray before you pay. So. That is your daily creative reading, my lovelies. 2626 was just on the time. That is for April 20th. Um, I hope that this resonated. If it did, um, uh, if it did, I just want to go back to this. Just I'm going to read this one more time because it just gave me goosebumps all over again. To truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. Let love pour through you. Oh, let love pour through you. My goodness. Let it, like all of us benefit when you do, right? All of us do. Um so and that's that's like the ultimate reward right that's the reward that's the ace of pentacles that's the ace of pentacles you can't you cannot purchase that in a store nor should you ever try to that is the ace of freaking pentacles that's ultimate meaning so if this resonated for you i hope that you like and subscribe uh, it helps me to grow the channel when you do but it also helps me to know that this content resonates and um, it, I'm just very grateful to continue to do this for you and to put wisdom out there in this form. So thank you so much for your eyes and your time and your energy. Uh, if this, if you want to, there are other ways to connect with me uh, in terms of different types of readings. Um, so do so at your, at your leisure, at your leisure. <laughs> um, but if this is where we part my daily creatives, I hope you have a wonderful day ahead of you. Thanks so much for your time. Have a good one.